Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is Rugburn. Uh, this is the first video I wanted to do on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I've been doing some of these uh, bush trips, there's, there's quite a bit of them. Um, and I recently just finished this California uh, bush trip, it was very very long, pretty much most of California, all of Nevada pretty much. And the last flight I did um, is the one that is probably the most stunning one. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, this is from Lee Vining Airport by Mono Lake, uh, crossing the Sierras and coming into Yosemite Valley from, I guess, the, nor the other way, uh, not the normal way that you'd normally drive over. Um, and so if you've never been there, uh, it's pretty amazing flying through this area. So I just wanted to share that with you. So I'm gonna try to do uh, this one. Uh, Lee Vining to, to Mariposa Yosemite Airport. So this is the whole bush trip. Uh, it was 25 legs, it took a long, long time. Um, but yeah, this is definitely worth it. It was amazing actually. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Some highlights were the Tesla factory flying over the Giga factory in Nevada also uh, um, uh, Burning Man um, that was pretty cool too and so here we are so this is the flight again it's it's a relatively long one compared to the other one so we're flying for leave inning here from Oscar 24 Mono Lake is right here and we cross the Sierras through Yosemite Valley. This is Yosemite Valley around the middle part of this, the middle part of this run. And then we end up in Mariposa Airport, which is over here. So I'm gonna turn off this map so that it's easy to uh, follow along here. And yeah, let's get going. So I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna find Ellery Lake first, which means that we need to take off So I think I need to calibrate my joystick a little bit. <laughs> and we're gonna take off. And we need to find this State Route 120. Which is literally straight ahead right there. There we go. So we're starting close to Nevada and we're gonna fly through the Sierras to Yosemite. Um, so we'll keep a climbing rate of anywhere between 500 and 1,000 feet per minute. Um, and it says that we need to travel approximately four minutes and two seconds, heading two, four, five. Uh, which I can't because I have a mountain right here, so I need to kind of go around this mountain until I can Essentially go to 245 or even 250 to kind of get back on track uh, For about four minutes or so so The point is to find Ellery Lake in this first point of interest according to the nav log so we're just gonna hug this side of the uh, this side of the uh, mountain. Uh, we got the State Route 120 here to our left, uh, right over there, and yeah, we'll just keep climbing 500 feet per minute. That's good enough. That allows us to kind of keep our speed up. Uh, 55 knots is kind of slow, but what you're gonna do. We're already at 8,000 feet. And yeah, it's a, it's a pretty amazing area of the country. Um, I was actually in Mono Lake last year uh, for the winter. I uh, went skiing there uh, in the area. Um, 
and I've never seen it in the summer. I must be pretty amazing. And I've never actually uh, driven to Yosemite uh, this way. Um, I've always come from the other side. Uh, anytime I've been in California and uh, had a chance to go there. But it's a, it's a stunning area of the country. Alright, so we're still heading 245 approximately, so we're definitely going the right heading, but we're not gonna we're not gonna maintain this heading because or else we'll hit a mountain. Uh, but this is good enough here. State Route 120 is down there. So State Run Route 20 kind of curves around this mountain. And yeah, straight ahead. There we go. We cleared this mountain and we should be able to see State Route 120 is right below us. And Here's this is the Tioga Pass. Uh, I would like I'd love to actually experience this in um, in real life sometime. I think it would be pretty amazing driving on this on this road. So I have uh, I have uh, flight realism to the max here. So. You notice the plane moving around a lot. Um, kind of simulates, I think, what it really, what it would really be like flying a, essentially a fabric-lined light aircraft, bush aircraft, in a mountainous region like this. Uh, very windy, very turbulent, and yeah, just constantly need to make corrections. Um, it's not going to be completely smooth. <laughs> be very surprised. So here we are. We are at ten thousand feet, and I don't. Ex I don't. Uh, I don't think I need to climb any more than ten thousand feet right now. Well, I could be wrong, but I think I. Uh, it's high enough, and I can see Ellery Lake straight ahead there you go you can see it right there all right and we're actually a little bit slow look at that looks amazing no all right so i'm going to reset the timer we found ellery lake so that's point of interest number one so let's go to point of interest number two which means find lumbered dome so it says head south over ellery lake so right now we're heading southwest so I guess when I get around this mountain here I will uh, kind of turn left to bank left a little bit and it says then past a nearby Tioga Lake so there's another lake uh, right there you can see it there's Tioga Lake right there as you make your way along route 120 Uh, yeah. The road will eventually pass into the thick forest canopy and bend west before ultimately leading you into a meadow near the stark granite white rock formation known as Lambert Dome. Okay, so we basically follow Route 120. <laughs> uh, can, don't have to make it harder for yourself here. There's Tioga Lake right there. Pretty much a 10,000 foot lake. Pretty amazing. And there's State Route 120. And we're just gonna keep following this. And we need to, it's gonna take us approximately four minutes or so, just over four minutes to reach Lambert Dome. So we'll keep a lookout on that. I'm climbing a little bit. It looks like this area is rising a little bit, so I think I don't need to go higher than 10,500, but 
Um, I, I want to keep my speed up. Doing a good 85 knots, so that's nice. Going up to 90. Kind of stabilizing and picking up speed. There's state route 120. And it's very, very thick forest. Um, I don't want to lose the state route. There it is. Alright, we're 2 minutes 30 seconds in. Out of the 4 minutes. And Lambert Dome is not this. Uh, it must be those, uh, those rocks protruding straight ahead. Right? So 226, I'm at 245 right now, heading, um, but I am fairly sure that's the right landmark. Very, very thick forest. It's pretty amazing how green it is. Uh, despite it being 9,000, 9,500 feet or so, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so there's State Route 120 right below us, so we're on the right track. And that has to be Lambert Dome, straight ahead. I've heard, I've heard you can hike this. Uh, so it must be a pretty good attraction to visit uh, if you're ever in the area. I've never been here uh, in real life, uh, but it's yeah, that's the cool thing that Flight Simulator does. Lets you kind of explore the virtual world. And it's pretty amazing. I love it. I'd love to do all these uh, bush trips. Um, just so much time to invest because it's literally. This is what it would actually take you to fly this in this plane in real life. So it's in real time. So you need to invest real time into this. But it's a it's a it's an amazing exploration tool. And there we go. Four minutes into it, we set the timer. We found Lumber Dome here to our right. Next, it says continue west so west is essentially where I'm going right now uh, continue west across the gentle dome studded Tulum, the Tulum Meadows with its winding river drawing you along so the winding river is below us on the far side of the clearing directly to the west so basically they are where we're pointing The prominent peak of Twilum Peak rises above the forest bridge. The forest brush. Make your way around the peak. So Twilum Peak must be this protruding rock straight ahead of us here to our left. Uh, right? It's protruding from this forest brush, right? And then it says make your way around the peak. So, sounds like we need to turn left, right, because we're, this is west right now, Column Peak is there, there's another look of Lambert Dome behind us, and State Route 120 right below us. Alright, so here is Tolum Peak to our left. And then beyond the trees, off in the distance, you should begin to see the form of Tenaya Lake. Tenaya Lake. Um, do I follow the road, basically? Or... Is 
So the, the state route 120 is below us and then it banks left here. Oh, and there's the lake. I can see it. Okay, so we're making our way around the peak. Tolum Peak. Follow state route 120. And we're headed towards Tanaya Lake, which is ahead, right ahead of us. There's another look behind us. Stunning. Stunning landscape for sure. And we're headed to Tanaya Lake. As you fly over this lake, look for Tanaya Creek running from its southern edge. Okay? Southern edge is basically on the other side of where I'm flying. Follow the creek south and it will bring you over the top of a gorge known as Piwiak Cascade. Okay. Uh, and I can already see Yosemite. Yosemite is that big rock in the background there, straight ahead. That is Half Dome. What stun stunning, stunning landscape. It's unbelievable. Right? I mean, it's one thing to drive uh, around this area, but I think flying around this area in real life would be just amazing. I've flown in a small plane uh, quite a bit of times in, in, in California, uh, but never around this area. More around the Los Angeles area, Southern California. So here we go. Um, we found the creek, Tanaya Creek, and we follow this creek then to our left here. It says just follow the creek, and it'll lead us to a gorge. And I think the gorge dumps into Yosemite Valley. And you can see here to our right, on our right wing, that's State Route 120. So you can't really drive to Yosemite from this side of the mountains, from from the from the west side, I think State Route 120 loops around basically, but it doesn't drive into the valley. So the only way to experience Yosemite coming from this side is, I believe, just flying, because uh, there's no roads. There's a road in the valley. Like if when we when we fly over the valley, you'll see there's roads. There's a bunch of them, uh, but coming from the Nevada side, uh, I don't believe there's a road leading in, leading you into the Yosemite Valley. I, I need to take a look at the map, but as you notice here, there's no road here, um, and State Route 120 just hung a right towards the right, somewhere in the right over there, somewhere in the background there. There's where State Route 120 went and there's no road that goes down here there's a big waterfall right um, so here we go we get to experience this flying and it's pretty amazing if I can say so and it says here, welcome to Yosemite. Take a moment and enjoy one of the most stunning views in the world. And I would agree with that. It's pretty unbelievable. And then get ready to see it up close as you continue heading southwest into the valley. So we're basically just gonna keep flying south into this valley. Here's the gorge where we came from. Amazing. And there's no roads. At least in this area. I can't seem to see any roads on, on that side. So State Route 120 must have, must have 
must be way back there somewhere. Right? Because there's no way to come in from this side into this valley down there. But here we are. So this is Half Dome. There's a famous famous peak in, in, in Yosemite, probably the most famous. And it's unbelievable. It's a huge slab of granite. I've actually hiked this all the way up to the top uh, a long time ago, uh, 2008. Um, I flew myself uh, to California and uh, went up with a group and we hiked all the way up there. It was very difficult. <laughs> it was the most difficult hike I've ever done in my life, but it was amazing. Um, the last bit, climbing this last bit, uh, the granite part, is pretty, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you have to kind of pull yourself up with a rope. Uh, lots of people up there usually, if you go there in a busy period. And yeah, it's definitely worth the trip. It's amazing. I mean, this this place looks like from another planet, a place from another planet. No, it's pretty amazing how it's so flat in the valley, and then all of a sudden you got this huge rock just sticking up, right? Amazing views. Amazing. All right. So uh, I lost track of time here. Uh, so let's see what we need to do. So it says move through Yosemite Valley. So this is Yosemite Valley down here. Tracking with Merced River, which is the river right below us. Eventually on the north bank of the river, find the small waterside town of El Portal. So, um, we'll start the timer even though I know I'm a little bit late, but maybe by five minutes, five minutes or so from now, six minutes or so from now, we should be able to see a town on the north bank, which is the bank that's to the right of the river below us. Uh, a town called El Portal. Here's one last look at Yosemite Valley and that is adjacent to Half Dome. Amazing, amazing views. And we're still in Yosemite Valley, but now we have another famous um, rock slash cliff here to my right and if I remember correctly this is El Capitan it's a it's a famous it's a famous rock climbing destination I know that uh, I definitely did not do that I'm not I'm not that adventurous uh, especially those people that climb this thing without harnesses apparently I'm not living my life to the fullest but it's pretty you know, unbelievable like how, how do you have a rock cliff like that almost orthogonal to the Yosemite Valley which is like flat isn't that unbelievable? I mean, I, it's it's unbelievable to me. I, it's crazy. It's beautiful, crazy and beautiful at the same time. <laughs> There's another look of Yosemite Valley. Beautiful look of El Capitan and Half Dome together. Oh yeah, and here. You have uh, a, a highway, some state route, right there. You can see it's like a, a visitor viewpoint location, right? And that's called the tunnel view. When you come in 
this is the view that most people see because you when you drive into Yosemite you come out of this tunnel right there and the first thing you see is El Capitan Yosemite Valley and Half Dome there's the tunnel you go into that tunnel here to the left you come out the other way on the other side and you have an, an amazing view into Yosemite Valley amazing Alright, so it looks like this river here, Merced River, curves around. So I'm just going to take a little shortcut here. And see where it goes. We still haven't found El Portal, but it's a little bit too early yet. We're only three minutes, three and a half minutes in. So around six minutes or so, uh, we should be able to see the town. I say six minutes because I started... I started um, the timer late, so if you follow the right timers, um, as recommended here on the nav log, uh, it should be seven minutes. But because we were late, I'm just gonna say six approximately, and we're just gonna look for a town on the north bank, because as you can see below us, that's the state route, um, and. There is no towns here, so we haven't passed it yet. So it looks like the river curves here to the right. We're going to stay at around 5,000 feet if that's possible. We should. goes down there and it comes out here and there we go I think we start to see a town ahead of us All right so that should be what we're looking for So the town seems to be straight ahead of us. This one right here seems to be some sort of a shopping area or so, or, or maybe a hotel. It's got a lot of uh, parking lots, but this here looks like more like a town, right? And it's on the right bank, right hand side of bank of the river, the Merced River. So I am sure what we're looking at is El Portal right there and look six minutes exactly like I said so let's reset the timer now that we've passed El Portal that's point of interest number six we go to number seven it says the Merced River Fork farther along the river the waters will fork in different directions. Continue your path toward the west and begin gaining altitude. How do they know what, uh, what altitude I'm at? Why are they recommending me gain altitude? I, I don't know if they don't really recommend an altitude to fly any of these things, so. We're going to ignore that instruction. <laughs> I think our altitude is okay so far. Unless we have to like cross a peak or something. But Let's stay around 4,000 feet. I don't think we need to climb anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm good with this altitude. I don't want to be so high and then I can't see anything. Right? Uh, altitude's plenty good. So, we're going to go west. And we are pretty much heading west. Uh, a little bit more to the right would be straight west, but this is generally west, crossing the Sierras. And we're gonna look for a fork. And then 
based on the instructions, it says that we're going to continue on our path west past this fort. So the first task, uh, the first task is to find this fort. So far, no fork. It's gotta be these ones, these these intersections coming up here. 